so I might have taken the plunge. No pun intended. It's uh, Skyward Sword HD again. It, well, it's just Skyward Sword again, but the HD is different. Maybe this will be a full series, maybe not. I'm not sure yet, but let's dive right into it. Uh, thank you for watching. I have uh, some mixed feelings about this game, but overall I would say I'm mostly think it's got some of the best dungeons in the series. Oh, and it's got good story. Um, oh god, there's that five voice again. So this is going to be a shorter video because I kind of have shit to do today. But ex expect a much more extensive look at the game. I'm going to try both control schemes though. So there's a ferocious war, there's a brutal assault upon the surface. Um, apparently this was re-rendered. They like had the original like source file of this and they just re-rendered it for HD. So I watched a video about this game's visuals. Um, I hope you don't mind that I'm not going to be like reading everything in this particular game as I've already played this game 10 years ago. I streamed it, but it was never like recorded. But yeah, they, they wanted to take the... they lusted for power and, uh, and that kind of thing. I'm using a pro controller to start. But I hear the motion controls were actually improved. being the Triforce. So yes, then they raised the islands, and it became Zeal, a place where magic ruled the land, and everybody was uh, Force-sensitive. And then they built the Starship Enterprise and sailed off into Waterworld. <laughs> and, and then there was, um... Ganon. But not Ganon, exactly. You know what I like about this game? The clouds are like a little yellow, like a little tan. It gives them a little bit more um, character than the, the cluds of other video games. That's the only thing I like about this game. No, it was, it was a game I, I enjoyed a lot, and you're going to hear me talk about that as I re-experience it. Um, apparently there's a lot of quality of life stuff. There's better loading times. You... Fi is optional, which is my huge sticking point. If that wasn't a thing, I don't know if I would have picked this up. Also, I pre-ordered it and got it for $10 cheaper. Still not the $40 price point, which probably would have been better. But I was like, all right, no, I, I'll, I'll do that. And I will make the video of it because that's what I do. And I enjoy Zelda. This is the only Zelda game mainline Zelda game that isn't like a DS spin-off that I've only played once. And I remember the music being really good. Um, I remember the story being cool. And even the gameplay when it was good. That's not a thing I'm looking forward to. That thing. Three times. Three times. It's weird because this game is both the most um, limited Zelda game 
in regards to linearity. And it also kind of pointed the way to Breath of the Wild. Like, it's weird, because the way they advertised it when they announced the HD remake, they are like, this game is the precursor to Breath of the Wild. Like, not really. But it's got a couple things, like the upgrades. Sixty FPS. Pretty nice. The depth of field effects to make it look like a painting um, is, works a little differently in the HD version. So things aren't as blurry. So I'm only going to be able to play this for about an hour and a half, right? Which means... Only the tutorial. But apparently they sped that up even. Um, by the way, the Groose is loose. Lips. I should have named my Link Lip. Link, awaken. It's time for destiny. Take this, it's dangerous to go alone. Again, I will be speeding through a lot of this. Um, I do like the story, but it unfolds nicely through the cutscenes as well. Um, the reason is I just don't have the patience for a 40-hour game. I, th I don't think it's 40 hours, though. I, th I think with all the enhancements, I I've read that this it's like maybe 20 to 30 or something. So we'll see. Um, apparently they also upgraded the textures, but I think they just passed them through an AI upscaler. Hey sleepyhead, I know how much you like to sleep in. Oh, that's me. This is letter, your alarm clock this morning, but I guess right? Rise and shine, today's the wing ceremony. You better not keep me waiting, Zeld. I had considered... ...streaming this game. Again, you know, I considered it briefly. So I'm trying to rotate the camera, but that's not working. Um, even when you hold the L button. Nice. Can you tell me, game, how many times? Uh, can you tell me like 45 times that that's worth five rupees? I like when they showed trailers and hype videos for this game's release. They were showing, like, that you can shut the game off, load it, and it won't tell you how much a five rupee is, is worth. A five blue rupee. Okay, now I can... Now I can rotate the camera. This is a little bit of a... It's a cool feature to be able to do a free camera, but it is a bit controversial that you have to hold a button to do it. But when you're doing motion controls, apparently you could just do whatever. You can just rotate it whenever. Good morning, Link! Today's the big wing ceremony, right? I wanted to fly too, but I didn't make the cut. I'm stuck back here at the academy. Plus, I've got to move these barrels over to the kitchen. I was hoping to at least be able to cheer you on, Link, but I guess that's the way it goes. Good luck out there and wild them, buddy. Um, the art style in this game is still very strong, though the sharpened textures are a little weird up close. Um, from a distance, though, they look phenomenal. Um, but th this is a Wii game, after all. Time to take a shit! Is there a hand down here? Skyward Sword experience, everybody. Just that right there. 
now you can look around and see everything. Oh no, by then it's much too late. Let's see. That was the flush, that wasn't explosive stuff. I like this music a lot. This is a nice, um... It's a good thing, too, uh, that I like the music up here, because you're going to be hearing it a ton. Skyloft still looks pretty good. Looks actually, I think, upscaled. This game is quite vibrant and pretty to look at, and I, uh, I like it. Why can't I, as Link, throw this pot? Alright, thanks for watching. That was Skyward Sword HD. I like uh, Link's lips. Hey! That'll be the end of that. Yo. Good morning to you, Link. Today's finally the long... the day of the long-awaited wing ceremony. Ooh. Okay, so you can target someone to talk to them. It's a convenient way to face your view forward. So we can dash to get up there. So after I get the sword and figure out what the mo the controls are like on the Pro Controller, I'm going to switch to Joy-Con. Being able to rotate the camera with the Joy-Con does sound very appealing. Voice crack. Rushing to get some last-minute bird riding practice this morning, Link. Oh, you have someone to meet? Zelda's waiting for you, isn't she? Perfect timing, then. You see, Zelda's father, Headmaster Kabora, has a pet named Mia. She scampered off again. Link, you need to rescue Mia, and then collect 14 pumpkins of destiny. Then you need to shave my eyebrows even further. Then I need to teach you target practice with a bunch of womp rats using your T-16 Skyhopper. weird at 60 FPS. In a, in a, I mean, it's better. I'd prefer 60 FPS, of course, but I guess I'm just so used to playing Zelda games at 30 FPS. around. Man, you know, one of the reasons I thought I would love this game, and I did enjoy it when it came out, and I think I, en I enjoy it, probably will enjoy it still, but one of the things that bummed me out about this game was just the lack of stuff to do in the sky. I mean, Wind Waker had a similar problem, but I guess I kind of enjoyed that there's always something going on. Even if it wasn't very consequential, the sea felt alive. Um... Sadly, this game, the sky was a little empty, and I thought I would love it even more because Skies of Arcadia is one of my favorite games ever made, so. You have to feed the, the thing now. Oh, okay. All right, I'll bring, I'll bring the animal there. It's not a duck, but I'll help feed it, don't worry. There will be more duck content. I have some good duck content. Ooh. Well, wow, this face in HD is just beautiful. Morning, Link. How's life? Managed to get even a wink of sleep last night? Finished, uh, figured you might have been tossing and turning all night thinking about the big ceremony today. What am I doing? I'm just fixing this gate here. Squeak clean, send your prayers to the goddess, bird statue, Skyloft. Go to the statue. Go to the statue. 
Okay, so that was the, yes, the stamina fruit. I remember that. Zelda, I have this small, useless animal. Guided by the servant of the goddess, unite earth and sky, bring light to the land. I mean, this is no Popeye in regards to its story, but it's pretty good. Hey, good morning, Link. I also, I like Zeld's haircut and whole vibe in this game. I think it's, it's cool and different. I'm glad to see my Loftwing got you out of bed. Pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. <laughs> but look at this instrument, and look at this outfit. They're mine to use today at the ceremony, since I'll be playing the role of the goddess. Aren't they beautiful? Especially this instrument. Tell me it's just like the thing from something. It sounds gorgeous, too. I asked father about it. He said it's called a harp. <laughs> look at these clothes. I made this wrap myself. We get to use it in today's ceremony between the harp and this outfit. I'm going to make a great goddess today. I got you up early this morning because I wanted you to be the first to see me like this, Link. So how do I look? Uh... Really? Oh, uh, you know, maybe it does look a little weird. Oh fuck, I feel bad now. I wanted to play the chaos role. Ah, uh, there you are, Zelda. All prepared for today's ceremony. Oh, hello, father. Oh, Link, you're here too. Outstanding. Oh, right, I forgot that this guy looked like an owl. But, you know, that ties into later Zelda games. It's encouraging to see you up so early, given your capacity for sleep. No doubt today's ceremony had you too excited to close your eyes for once. Mm -hmm. Wow, that face. Um, if you win today's ceremonial race, you'll get to participate in the... Prostate! ...ritual with Zelda, so give it your best out there. Yes, about that. Father, I don't know if he can do it. Recently, Link hasn't been practicing much at all for the ceremony. And even when he's out riding his Loftwing, he's just lazily gliding around, probably daydreaming. I don't know what he's thinking. I have to be in perfect control of his bird to win today. Mm -hmm. No need to worry yourself, Zeld. Though you may have a point, today's wing ceremony tests the skill of the rider as well as his bond to his bird. Victory will not come easily. Hmm. And as you pointed out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. But you've known him since you were both very little. So you should know better than to fret about him. You see, Link and his loft wings bear a, share a special connection. I've never seen anything quite like it. I like birds, kind of. I don't like bird, bird dirt that they make, but I like birds. As you know, each of us in Skyloft is but one half of a pair. We are only made whole by our loft wings, the guardian birds that the goddess bestows upon each of us as a symbol of her divine protection. Hmm. When we are young, every one of us meets our loft wing under the great statue of the goddess. It's quite a big moment, as I'm sure you'll recall. But that first meeting between Link and his loft wing was extraordinary. The bird that came to him was a crimson loftwing. It's a breed so rare we were sure for some time it had vanished from the line. From time, even. <laughs> yes, the boy and his bird seemed to share a profound connection. Uh, do you recall it? It was amazing. It's just, they were, um, it was amazing. There was bird. Bird connection. I've never seen anything like it. Zelda, did you know that when Link and his Loftwing met, it was incredible? <laughs> Is this Pokemon? Anyone who's part of something special is bound to catch some nasty look sooner or later. <laughs> yeah, gross. I remember little of this game, 
So this will feel like a new experience to some extent. I, I remember the stuff I didn't like. I remember some stuff I did like. Remember pumpkins? If Link doesn't fly fast enough during the race, he will be shot with a fucking crossbow. What if he's not allowed to become a knight? Ooh. Calm down, my dear. It'll be fine. Honestly, it's almost as though you've become a completely different person when you worry about Link. Hey! Listen, Link, you better fly your heart out today. At the very least, you need to squeeze in a little practice time before the race. Come on, you'll thank me later. Here we are. Go on now, jump off. And call your loft wing. But wait a minute. What if there never was a loft wing? Uh-oh. Well, lost another one. Maybe we should have waited for, um, for the bird to show up first before whistling. What if the bird's sleeping? What if the bird's, like, sick? What if the bird is nestling? I don't know what that means, but it sounds like a bird-related thing, so it could be nestling. You gotta be careful with birds. Whoa. I'm telling you, I know this. I don't like the way they live their lives here in Skyloft, truthfully. Sorry, friend, I didn't mean to push you so hard. You didn't sprain your wing, did you? This is very odd, Link. What could have possibly happened to your loft wing? For a bird to ignore the call of his master, it's unheard of. And you still can't sense your bird nearby, eh, Link? Quite a problem, especially considering the wing ceremony is about to start. What if Link jumped off and nobody was around? I'm stuck on this. This is just bizarre to me. Um, Link, you said you can't sense your loft wing. Well, I should have believed you. I'm sorry. He said, what did he say? Did he, didn't he just go, huh? See if you can find your bird, Link. Like, Zelda's father just sprouts Ooh. wings and Link jumps on the back of him. <laughs> Run along and tell Instructor Horwell to come see me in my quarters. I think I know what happened. The bat that lives under the town. There's a Batman. For those that never have played this, this is a bit of a spoiler, but there's a Batman who fights crime with a little bird called Robin. And uh, he lives under the town and you, you have to feed him like fucking trash. I think. That's my memory of it at least. Bruce's bird was chasing after your feathered fella. Where's Bruce? Bruce and his little cronies were saying they were headed down to the wing ceremony in the plaza. Academy. Don't men open doors for a lady anymore? How am I supposed to stand here waiting for a little chivalry? Ugh. 
fake Link outfit. Oh, it's you, Link. Say, you look all flustered. Did something happen? What? You can't find your loft wing? Well, I don't know what to tell you. I've been here at school the whole time. I rescued that animal, but I didn't see the result of what would happen there. I think I, I can't get the Master Sword now, because I didn't give the animal to the right person. The Headmaster has summoned me. I'll go speak with him. You focus on finding your bird. That's a good trick. Zelda. It's just a door that says Zelda. I'm probably missing a couple rupees by not checking these these doors out, but if I remember correctly, there were some fetch quests. Mm. Oh yeah, I remember this dude, Pippin. You're not still wandering around the academy, are you? What? Your loft wing won't come when you call for it. Why would a guardian bird not come when it's called? You know, I've never heard of this ever happening before, so I can't even tell you what you're doing wrong. But a good senior never hangs an underclassman out to dry. We'll figure this out together. Go to the plaza, ask people there. Of course no one's ever heard of this happening. Anyone who's jumped off of the fucking island, the floating island, and their bird didn't come, they didn't live to tell the tale. So, of course no one's ever heard of it happening. Loading times are nice. How are you still alive? Hold up, Link. Hey, hey, Link! Could you help me with something? All I have to do is dash and roll into the tree. Come on, do a, do a roll! Did it a sky stack beetle? Wait up! <gasps> the weird way to roll in a Zelda game is press in the left stick. My my favorite pastime in Zelda. Rolling into pots. Also, hero mode isn't available from the start. It's kind of a little lame. Ooh. Hey, Link, today's the big day, isn't it? You know, the wing ceremony thing. Uh, when this thing, you get bumped up to senior class. Mm. <laughs> hey, cool stuff. Can I get... I get that stuff? Oh wait, Link has the same stuff. There's some weird stuff happening here in Skyloft. Everyone has the same stuff. People are jumping off without birds. There's bird men giving birth to Zeldas. It's weird. 
Oh look, this is where a Korok is. Never mind. Wrong game. God damn it, I just want Breath of the Wild 2. Hiya, Link. Nice breeze today, huh? Perfect for the ceremony. So who do you think will win today? I guess Groos is a strong contender, <laughs> but the winner will be blessed by a village girl chosen to represent the goddess. How romantic. <laughs> well, here he is. You know, Groos, that sure was a pain in the butt with all the scratching and pecking. <laughs> Of course it was. You thought a big crimson loft wing like that was gonna go down without a fight? To protect the world from devastation. But we got him. I don't care how tough those birds are supposed to be. He's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. <clears throat> the grass is lost. Whoa, Link, so, uh, yeah, just how long have you been standing there? What's your problem, anyway? Oh, wait, I got it. You're here to talk about today's race. I can see it in those dopey eyes of yours. They're pleading. Oh, Groos, can you please find it in your heart to let me win today, please? You're just desperate to win so you can get to my own time with Zelda up on the statue of the goddess at the end of the ceremony. <laughs> well, sorry, pal. Groos doesn't do charity for wimps. My advice? Work hard and wish with all your heart. You might even come in second. Say, come to think of it, how come I don't see your bird? <laughs> Where's that scruffy pile of red feathers? I can't imagine what could have happened to him. <laughs> you think his tiny brain got confused by all the clouds and got lost? Nice hair. <laughs> you lay off my do right now! Or I'll flatten you. Everyone knows I've got the slickest pompadour in town. You know, we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were kids. Big deal. It doesn't change the fact that you float through life with your head in the clouds. Did you wake up, straighten up, and grow a backbone already? Dopes like you are dragging our honored academy through the mud. And just who might you be talking about, Groose? Oh. Oh. Zelda! Hey, nah, it's a... Don't even try it, Bruce. You're picking on Link again, aren't you? He's a student at the Academy, like all of us. No. Uh... Why do you insist on bullying him around so much? Yeah, I suppose... Uh... You suppose? Suppose what? I suppose you... <laughs> Zelda, do you vape? <laughs> Forget it, I wasn't supposing anything, okay? <laughs> okay, we're out of here, boys. Later, Link. Hope you find your bird, or else you're gonna have to sit out today's race. That could be a major setback towards knighthood, so find that bird or get real used to the taste of failure. It's your special flavor. Sorry, Groose, we also captured your bird. I hate to say it, but I'm beginning to suspect that those blockheads had something to do with your loft wing's disappearance. Link, those guys aren't gonna help us find your bird, so we better start searching. I'll fly around Skyloft and see if I can find any trace of your bird. Father said he'd talk to the instructor about delaying the start of the ceremony, so don't worry. We'll find your bird. In time. About, uh, sorry, uh, Albin. Whoa, about? Watch your step there. You can't always depend on knights like me to swoop in and save you. Hey! Hup. 
one thing that annoyed me a little bit with what um, direction Zelda was going in for years was they always had like a new origin story. I kind of don't really like origin stories all that much. Anytime like big franchises and movies and video games attempt an origin story, it's usually a miss. Um, but they just kept doing it. The origin of, of this, the origin of the Master Sword. So I hope this firmly cements itself as the first thing in the timeline and they don't keep trying to go back. Oh? What's wrong, Link? What? Your loft wing is missing. That's terrible. I was so looking forward to seeing that red blur streak through the sky. No, I haven't seen him. Look from by the statue of the goddess. You'll have a good view from the whole town up there. But, um, yeah, I actually played this at Comic-Con 2011, like a couple months before it came out. And I was like, yeah, these motion controls are fine. I always wanted to use a sword in a video game like it would be in real life, but, you know, obviously this isn't quite that. I just didn't like how 10% of my sword swings, or 5% or whatever it was, just didn't work. Hey, Link, I was just looking for you. Your loft wing has gone missing. I thought I'd join the search. Get this, when I asked Fledge what he knew, he started acting weird. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry, Link. I really wanted to tell you, but if Groose found out, I told you. Sounds like Groose forced him to keep quiet about it. Go on, tell him the truth. Uh. Uh, just a little while ago, when I was cleaning the dining hall, Groose and his buddies came in. They, uh, they didn't notice I was there and started talking about their hot plan to hide your loft wing. I wanted to warn you, Link, but just as I tried to sneak away, Groose and his gang grabbed me. They said if I told you, they'd make sure I'd never be able to ride a bird again. They're gonna come to fools. Sounds like Groose and his buddies had a plan to capture your bird and hide him near a waterfall. Near a waterfall would mean, well, let's take a look at your map. Oh, that's it right there. I'm, the waterfall is marked with the X. Oh, forgive me, Link. I can't help but being such a coward. I'm, I'm really sorry. Oh. One more thing, Link. If you're going out to the waterfall, remember there's some dangerous things. Creepy, crawly things. You'll need to carry a sword. I think I saw the Knight Commander go into the sparring hall a while ago. You should ask him if you could borrow one. There's a sword on there? Sword? Hey, it's Link. Uh, so, you want to get in some sword practice? Even though today is the wing ceremony, I'm impressed. Sword is in the back room. Go, go grab it. I actually completely forgot how you get your first sword in this game. It's just in a back room. There's no delivery. There's no getting it from grandma or your uncle. It's just in a back room. like the design of the first uh, start starting swords in Zelda games almost better than the Master Sword sometimes. Like, I kind of want this sword for my wall. Cool looking. Hmm? Eh. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I, don't really, I don't really need to learn how to do it. <laughs> left to right quickly. Ah! 
Okay, I mean, for a game that's designed around motion controls, this is fine. It is a little weird using a sword with a, um, a thumbstick. I was worried about that. But, I'm gonna say that this is a perfectly fine, I mean, you could probably imagine in time one would get even better at such a thing. But, um, in time you'd probably get very good at it. So I'm, uh, trying Joy-Cons now. Yep, this is the Skyward Sword I remember. Okay. No, I don't need to do this when I turn your hands. Wait, how do you do a spin attack? Oh, right, you use both of them. Yeah, I'm gonna play like this for a little while. Oh, no, I need the sword, you don't understand, there's monsters. They stole my loft wing. Only knights carry swords. Don't swing it around like crazy, though. Um, okay, I, I have practice with the logs. Look, I can do this. It's log, it's log. 42 minutes in, and I finally have the sword. It's dangerous to go alone, take this. It is nice to be able to rotate the camera freely. Without having to hold a button. Which, there should just be an option for that. So that's a little weird. But yeah, the Joy-Cons seem to do a perfectly reasonable job at, um... at doing the Wii thing. So you can even point and stuff? Wow, pointing. Yeah, flowers. Green rupee's worth one rupee! I might- you know what? I might not remember that. Please, tell me again. Isn't there a thing where you could, like, have a butterfly land on your sword? Or am I thinking of Ocarina of Time? Oh! Oh god, I gotta put this away. I forgot that in this game you start with six hearts. Yeah, I wish that hero mode was available from the start. Nintendo was a little, at this time, even more so than now, was... Like... Very concerned about getting those grandmas at the nursing homes to play their Zelda games. Which is why it was so tutorial heavy and so handholdy, and you know, probably also why you start with six hearts. Who knows how long the statue's been here? Oh yeah, it only does- it has one eye. Yep. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna play this game primarily, but... I'm just gonna see how annoyed I get by the motion controls. And take it from there. Because the controller works fine. But I love the free camera. Ha! <laughs> 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 
Game looks good in motion. Uh, so far, most of my swings have registered correctly. Loving that 60 FPS, though, man. What a difference that makes. This is a little bit more than I thought the HD version of Skyward Sword would be in regards to the changes and the improvements. I thought it was going to be as bare bones as they come. And yeah, it's basically the same game upscaled, but speeding up like dialogue options and, you know, the 60 FPS thing. I'll take it. It's nice. It's not as dramatic as a Twilight Princess thing or Wind Waker. But also, this came out on the Wii ten years ago, so it's it's still pretty... I don't want to say new, because God, a decade is not new. But... The, here's the crazy thing. This is two Zeldas ago. <laughs> For mainline console Zelda releases, this is the one before the most recent one. And that's a decade. couldn't get more different between the two. Sure, there's some similarities, like I said, the upgrade system and, you know, collecting all the things, um, but it- this is... as, like, a traditional Zelda game, it's as traditionally Zelda as you get. With just some mechanical... differences, and I guess if you want to call the motion controls innovation, you can. I wouldn't. It's, um... It was a nice experiment. And clearly, we're doing it again, but this time... ...with Joy-Cons. It's fine. The thing I do like about the, um, sword combat in this game, though, is that every fight becomes kind of a puzzle. The stamina system's another thing that... ...also, um, ended up working out. I have a phone call. Um, okay, excuse me, I had a phone call. The beauty of a pause button. Monster Claw. Uh. So yeah, tell me about that again when I turn the game off. Yes, I'm going to be making that joke a lot during this playthrough, yes. It's not a joke so much as it is a sad reality of the original. I wonder how much... I wonder how much time that actually ate up. Like, I wonder just by cutting the messages down and being able to, like, not talk to Fi and skip through some of the tutorial messages, I wonder, like, does it shorten the game by, like, five hours? I don't know. Link. I found your loft wa- oh wait. Did you? Hey Link, I was hoping I'd find you here. I heard you'd gone searching for your bird around the waterfall, so I thought I'd fly around to help you look. How's your search going? Any sign of your loft wing? There's a place up ahead that Groose and his gang are always hanging out. Maybe we'll find something there. Huh? Who- who's that? Who's calling for me? Oh, sorry Link, I got distracted for a moment. Let's go. Can't be trusted with a sword. Look, there he is! No doubt about it, that's your loft wing, Link. This is the equivalent of Metroid Prime locking on and shooting the four or so um, locks on the gate. <laughs> okay, that was not the input I wanted to do. I wanted to do this. Oh, you can't do that. Never mind. 
I was trying to do um, a spin slash uh, vertical. I have birded my bird. It is out now. Hello, bird. <laughs> I wouldn't mind a, a bird friend. You should hurry, Link. Now that your loft wing is free, you should fly to the ceremony. Before you go, I have to ask you something. I heard this voice a few moments ago. Did you hear it too? It was Tom Waits. Have you heard that Tom Waits album that's been going around Skyloft? No, no. It's been happening a lot lately. It's the strongest, uh, strangest feeling. Almost like something is calling out to me. Or someone. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Some say it's an empty, barren place. Or even that there's nothing at all down below. I just have this feeling that they're wrong. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world under there, far more vast than Skyloft. Thing is, no one's ever been down there to see it. Our loft wings won't fly through the cloud barrier. But I can't help imagining the wild things that might be waiting below. Someday, I want to see it for myself. No, no one has invented the parachute until maybe, like, today. Sorry, Link. We don't have time to talk. Let's get going. Your bird's waiting for you. Jump off the ledge and press the thing. Okay, now this, this is where I'm switching back to the controller. Much better. Okay. Maybe I'll just, like, have the pro controller waiting for every time Bird. I remember disliking the motion controls greatly for Bird. He's flying all right. Yeah. I would like to reverse the controls, though, because, um, flight controls, because, uh, you know, flight. Camera. Invert. Vertical. But only controls. Invert. Vertical. Um, eh, never mind. I'll get used to it. The reason is because, like, flight games, you know... I kind of got used to that kind of thing, where you push forward to angle your nose down. <laughs> Fuck, I want to try to convert. I'm not used to it. God damn it. That's good. Honestly, flying is much better with the controller. Holy fuck. Like, I don't feel like when I'm m moving my arms around like an asshole, I don't feel like I'm flying. That's, um, it was just unnecessary motion controls, truthfully. I don't mind the sword combat motion controls. I don't mind some of the other stuff, but man, I'm just gonna have my controller nearby at all times. I'm gonna fly back and tell father what happened. No! Well, well, if it isn't Link. Word around the plaza is you found that dumb bird of yours. Well, that's just great, because you and your dumb bird can't tell time. 
All the pre-race warm-ups me and the guys did were for nothing. Now I'm all stiff. We've been waiting forever for the race to start. They delay it for you? I don't get it. The big blank gets special treatment. <laughs> You're almost a man, and yet you still can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. I bet you can't even decide what to have for lunch on your own, huh? But I don't think we haven't noticed. Don't think we haven't noticed the smug looks. Oh, Zelda and I are best friends. We go everywhere together. <clears throat> you think you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, don't you? Gross <laughs> uh, has been going on forever about he's gonna be one of the one of, he's gonna be the one to be with Zelda. He's really got his pompadour in a ruffle about her. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but today's the day I bust up this adorable little fantasy land you're living in. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess at today's ceremony, and I'm gonna be the one to claim the sailcloth. When I heard she made it herself, man, no way was I gonna let some scrawny clown snatch that prize from me. Ah, uh, yes, the sailcloth, Zelda's sailcloth, will be mine! <laughs> Whoa! Oh man, I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching it. Yep, I can see it now. First, I win the big race, then Zelda and I finish the ceremony together on the statue. Just the two of us. It'll be our special little moment alone. Nobody's stopping me and Zelda from having our moment. Oh, it's so real. I can... I can see it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gross. Gross. Behind you. Right behind you. Uh, what? What? Can't you too see I'm in the middle of... Oh! Uh -huh. Care to explain what you meant by our... Sp just what you meant by our special little moment alone? <laughs> I... Uh, nothing big, really. Just... Just... Link! Yeah, I was just telling my buddy here I was glad he found that big red bird of his boy! Am I looking forward to a fair race? Anyhow, later, Zelda! Uh, look for me during the race. I'll be the one pulling off all the dangerous moves. Bruce, you eat shit. Oh, uh, Bruce, wait up! <laughs> Did you hear that guy? A fair race. Yeah, the chances of that happening are just about less than zero. Uh, anyway, don't let those fools get you down, Link. Just get out there and fly the best you can. I know you've got these guys beat deep down. I think you do too. Yeah. That's the spirit, Link. Trust me, you can win this. The wing ceremony will now begin. Participating students, please assemble. It's like it's race time. Good luck, Link. One hour. We are at the one hour mark, currently. To me, this is a slow start. I don't mind the village stuff in Zelda games, like Twilight Princess. It's fine, but like I feel like hey. Wind Waker had a, a pretty short village segment before you get your sword and go off and do something. But then again, you go to the Forsaken Fortress, so it's not like you're experiencing the open world right away. Your attention, please. At last, we are ready to begin the ceremony. Um, here's the rules. There's a small statuette to this bird. Dash from the starting line, dive off the edge, and then, um, you know, catch the bird and claim the statuette. <laughs> Reading is my strong point. As you know, today's champion will graduate to the next class. And also a gift from the young woman chosen to play the role of the goddess. <laughs> Zelda's playing the goddess. And, um, fly good, everybody. Cool. Don't interfere with everybody. And that goes double for you, Groose. Hey. <laughs> Alright, gentlemen, line up. At my command, the competition will begin. What, what is it called in Harry Potter? The, the snitch?
Oh, it's the A button. Whoa, tight turns, man. Tight turns. I had this thing twice already. I just didn't press the right button. And I pressed the A button too soon, and then I, I ascended. Wow. Hey, don't you know this is my day to get all the glory? Yeah, you heard him! Yeah, let's see how you fly with Echo in your face. So they're just disqualified by default because they're cheaters, right? I like how it, Bruce's minions have no autonomy of their own. They exist only to make Bruce win. And he treats them like shit. And they say this game had the best story. I mean, it's the trope. It's the age-old trope, isn't it? You got the bird statuette. It proves your victory today. Wait till Zelda sees this. Link. I forgot my parachute. My bird is is taking a shit. Don't worry, I'm fine. Great flying, Link. Congratulations. Now we'd better get on with the ceremony. <laughs> Link, hand me that bird statuette. Please. No. Great goddess, guiding light, protect of our people, grant us your blessing and mercy as I act in your stead during the ceremony. This was Bruce's special moment. Valiant youth who grasp, grasped victory at the celebration of the bird folk, in accordance with the old ways. Sweet D is bird folk. I now bestow the blessings of the goddess upon you. Here's a thing that will allow you to get to the surface. No one has ever made a thing like this, ever. The blessings of the goddess drift down from the heavens aloft to sail, which I now pass on to you. It smells nice, too. Link, quit goofing. This is supposed to be a sacred ritual, remember? They say that the goddess gave the sailcloth to her chosen hero long ago. Of course, you're the one who's holding it isn't the same. Uh, the one you're holding isn't the same one. I've been working hard to make the sailcloth in the time to give it to you, or today's champion, rather. It's because of this that Breath of the Wild starts, and you immediately just look at a castle and then run in whatever direction you want. Granted, there's even a little bit of tutorial stuff there, just because you have to, you know, talk to the old man and complete the four shrines. But... God... 
I know some people have some issues with Breath of the Wild as the future of the Zelda formula, but I love what it did. Uh-oh. Just what are you thinking? Don't be silly. This is your big moment, Link. You have to jump off the statue. Look down. See that big round design in the courtyard below? Finish the ceremony. You need to drop down right to the center of it. Zelda is adamant on killing Link. Oh boy, I see you messed up your landing, remember? <laughs> Not gonna push me off this time? Pilot wings. That was perfect. You're amazing, Link. For the Zelda 35th anniversary, it is nice that we're, we got this. And I guess the little Game & Watch thing with Zelda 1 and 2 and Link's Awakening, that's fine. But... I don't know. I kind of wanted a little bit more. With the weather being so nice, and seeing as you won today, Link, you think maybe you'd like to, I don't know, you know, go fly around in the clouds together? I want to fight moblins and bokoblins. I want to go into a dungeon. I want to shoot arrow. I want to light fire. I want to... I want to fight. Link. But it was amazing watching you win the race and performing the ritual together. I'll always remember this. It really was wonderful. <laughs> Tea. Boop. You know, Link. There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. She was gonna talk about how Link needs to get off of the Pokemon card addiction. And that, no, it's not worth it to collect the big Pikachu with the rainbow. I am waiting for you. The time has come for you to awaken. You are vital to a mission of great importance. Link. Finally awake, huh? When your loft wing carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared the worst. Fortunately, you don't appear to have any serious injuries. For that much, we can be grateful.
But think where Zelda was with you, was she not? Tornado, you say? Hmm, that was no ordinary storm. I can see with my own eyes. <laughs> you must not push yourself. You're still recovering. Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, did anything seem off? See, she's talking about the surface. You've been having dreams about a great mission. How interesting. Ooh. Ooh. I'm sorry, I was lost in thought there for a moment. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much of a connection between these things. Concerned for Zelda, but so long as she's with her loft wing, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, daybreak has yet to arrive. It'll be very difficult to spot one girl in her burden in the dark of night. It'll also be very dangerous. Rest now, Link. Zelda's going to be fine. She's out there alive. I know it. It's good music. I'm just excited to listen to the soundtrack again, too, truthfully. Like, I haven't listened to the soundtrack of this game, aside from a couple songs, um, since release. I also found a calendar, a Skyward Sword calendar I have from 2017, and I don't know where I got it, or why I have it. Bathroom first. The amount of times I'm going to accidentally pull my sword out while trying to rotate the camera, it's going to be astronomical. Is there a convention called Astronomicon? Just enough, enough slice of lime. I feel like there could have been an option to have it so that when you lock onto an enemy, you can use your sword. At least the option, and then you could just free rotate the camera whenever you want. Damn. 
So I'm, I'm using the Pro Controller again. This is where our path ends. This is where the journey ends. Oh. Link just goes back home. me, Girl Sword. The one chosen by my creator. I have been waiting for you. You will play a special role in a great destiny. According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. Fi is the name I was given. I was created for a single purpose, to annoy the fuck out of the player throughout an entire playthrough of Skyward Sword. But only in the Wii version. Um, long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. Come, Link, you must take up the sword. As the one chosen by my creator, it is your destiny. Your destiny. Strange dreams troubling your sleep. My sudden appearance. Uncertainty surrounding the fate of one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. She is Vulcan. To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. My projections indicate that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. Oh, right. I remember that. Probability. The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. And this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one fated to be a part of the same great mission. Therefore, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up the sword before you set out to search for her. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept the sword? It seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. But where's the origin story of the creator, of Fi's creator? We need to go back even further. You got the goddess sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. Recognition complete. Master. Link, my master. Master! Hey. <laughs> Sorry, that was loud. Uh, Link. Oh. I've had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet here we are in the chamber of the sword. The very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake from its long slumber. Do not fear, for it is then that a youth guided by a hand shall reveal himself in a place most sacred. It started days ago. The sword that I've kept secret all these years began to give off a faint, otherworldly light. At first I was sure I was seeing things here alone with the sword. There was no, simply no other explanation. I never dreamed the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. 
The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the blade, born, 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 youthful likewise, yet wise. Likeness, yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Ah oh, yes, the oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information, retention, and transmission. It appears that critical sections of the passage have been lost over the generations. <laughs> the youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero, and it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land, such as his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below, and united with the spirit maiden shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the Surface. Surface. Um, the old tales describe a whole world below, far more vast than Skyloft. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to vast, the vast realm of the surface. It is only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. It is only, also the only method available for you to reunite with the spirit maiden, Honorable Zelda. This is no easy task, Link. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it, you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. I have a cloth now. This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it within the altar behind me. Oh, oh, you need the tablet. Otherwise you couldn't get through the water vapor that is the clouds? I forgot that you had to make a hole through the clouds with light in order to get to the surface. That was a whole other just forgotten memory. Master Link, it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you place in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds. I recognize you as my master, so it's my duty to follow you wherever you may go. I will require your assistance maybe a little bit, but not as much as last time. Link, listen a moment. The nature of the great apocalypse mentioned in the old text is a complete mystery to me, but whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have big roles to play in the destiny of this land. Just think, what I says is true. Zelda is alive! Alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. Heed the call of destiny. Find my daughter. Wear the green outfit. No. No way. I understand how you feel, but this is destiny itself calling for you, Link. Just give me green clothing and I'll be fine. The uniform should be ready by now. <laughs> well, there you go. Chainmail. Underneath. And green. And leather. And belts. Mm. That green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I had my doubts about the color. Oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. Blue, perhaps? It's as though you were born to wear it. 
I love the origin of this outfit each and every time, too. Like, they, they, there's always a different explanation, unless you're playing some of the earlier ones where he just wears it from the start. So, yeah. I actually have to go. Uh, next time I play this, there will be, you know, the surface, dungeon, it'll be good. It'll be like actual Zelda. So, I have to stop here, but I can't think of a more fitting place to stop than Link finally getting his uniform. Oh wait, yes I can. Oh, Link! That green uniform looks so adventurous. You sure look like a knight by now. Uh, Headmaster said something, uh, you're really something else. I could never imagine myself doing what you, you do. You should take this with you, I made it. Adventure pouch. You can store useful items. Thanks, man. It's an adventure pouch. You can buy stuff and then put it in there. You can buy potions and a shield. Link, I just know you'll find Zelda for us. Hey! Hey, I just saw the news out of all of us. How come you got promoted to senior class only? Only you! Talk about stupid calls! Top of that, Groose won't come out of his room, and Zelda's missing! All your fault! Way to go there, buddy! Some senior class guy you are. <laughs> oh, whoops. No, there's there's no cleaning up. Once Once Link goes mental, there's no cleaning up. So yeah, next time I'll check out the bazaar, get on a loft wing, go down to the surface, destroy a pumpkin or two, I don't know. Who, who knows, really? I mean, there's, there's so much potential. But first... <laughs> does is this joke get old? Well, thank you for watching Skyward Sword HD Part 1. Um, looking forward to actually getting into the meat and potatoes of the game. So far, the, um, the HD stuff, it looks good. It still looks good. The game looks good in motion. The camera rotation is good. The, you know, controller controls are definitely doable for a game like this. And, um... The Joy-Con work very well as well for what they are. I don't know if they're going to be good in combat the same way they should be because, you know, the actual game I remember having a lot of frustrations. But uh, it seems okay, and I guess next time that will be the true test of the motion controls and whether or not I use those or just stick with controller. So, uh, thank you everybody out there, I appreciate you watching, and look forward to more Skyward Sword. And remember, don't jump off a cliff, even if your bird is ready and willing to pick you up, just don't do it. It's not a good idea. See you next time.